what's up guys, Floodmon14 here, and we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, let me get the map big, and let's see who we can find out here today. Someone right here, Baguarillo, alright, right. let's see, oh, there's someone. Yugi. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Today is June the 11th, 2021. Ah, looks like just Bakura and Grandpa. Well, we will take on Grandpa. Because uh, we've already got Bakura's uh, registered and his recipe, so if anyone forgets about me, well, I'll show you that I can still do Like the pieces of a puzzle, you. That pieces of a puzzle. Now, if this guy summons Exodia on us, I am gonna flip. Be like, called it. I even made the quote. Like the pieces of a puzzle. Yugi, Yugi, kill that son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, starting out good. Poison of the old man. Sometimes we still start with two of those and emergency provisions. And it's like yikes. All right, let's see if he's got it this time. Sometimes he'll start right away with Ordeal of a Traveler. Uh, we'll go with a Lajian. La, 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 Lajian. <laughs> All right, Lajian. My wish is your command, and I wish you to burn that skull servant. Ah, yeah, he's got it. All right, let the games begin. I'll get monster. Good, Hornet. Okay. All right, the attack went through. Hmm. Gonna have to try to get rid of that card if we can. Alright, and I think we'll just end the turn. Got Swords and Magician of Faith in hand. That is a very strong combo. Can stall for effectively six turns. Uh, Alright, that's a strange choice right away in attack mode. I think I'll play Foolish Burial here. Let's see, we will bury Sinister Serpent as per usual. Go to the graveyard, my serpents. You'll come back next turn. I don't think I'm gonna set anything here. Not any spells or traps I want back yet. And oh, also, that's smart because if the attack fails, then we can resummon Lejean. Okay, Horn of the Hand. So I'm not sure what else he's got in his hand, but so far, so good. So far, so good. And of course, as always, when you duel, uh, Grand Paiyugi, you want to try to defeat him as fast as possible, because obviously his main strategy is to summon Exodia. His secondary strategy is eh, semi-burn, but it's really more of a Guardian Sphinx. He likes to get that out a lot, and to uh, loop it to High Oblivion, so yeah. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and play Swords now. That way we can set Sinister Serpent, because we drew Barrel Dragon's turn. And maybe next turn I'll summon Barrel Dragon. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't summon Barrel Dragon. Yeah, actually, tribute summoning while he's got Ordeal of a Traveler is actually kind of a bad idea. Oh! Well, now, no, wait, maybe I should. Because now I know all he's got in his hand is monsters. The other one is Horn Imp, correct? So maybe I will tribute summon next turn. Okay. Not a problem. Go ahead, Grandpa. My turn, I draw. I like to be poison of the old man. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't do the burn effect there because, uh, yeah, with a dark room of nightmare, he could have done 300 more burn damage. But it's understandable. Um, tell you what, let's go with Horse Raider because ultimately this will be more damage. Well, I don't know, maybe I should have gone with Barrel Dragon because I could have used its effect, but. I don't know. The effect can fail sometimes, <laughs> right? So, no guarantees, no guarantees. All right, we know you got the horn imp. Horn pimp. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Back down to 8,000, Grandpa. Good voice reader. Attack his life points now. <laughs> Say goodbye to those life points. Turn. 
I'm gonna get a drink of water. <sighs> All right. Two turns on swords. Not bad, not bad. Smashing ground, interesting. Uh, we'll go ahead and play. Let me sacrifice Sinister Serpent and Lajin. Come forth. <laughs> Check out this machine. Yeah, it's me being a key in America. My barrel dragon has three hits for three attacks, which means he can destroy all of your monsters at once. <laughs> go, platinum laser cannon discharge. Aw, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Alright. Force Raider attack. The good part about this is no matter what he's got in his hand, I'll be able to know. Oh, an Exodia piece. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be able to know the attack with Barrel Dragon is safe. So that's good. Force Raider cut his monster in half. And now, kill my Barrel Dragon. Attack his life once directly. <laughs> Relax, boys. We're working on a strategy here. You gotta trust me. Alright. What you got, Grandpa? A face down monster. Well, I doubt he set the Exodia piece. So we should be in the clear. If I can draw a good monster here, we win. Draw. Aww. Well, hmm. I guess something I could have done last turn, which I just thought of. Uh, well, let's, first of all, let's use Barrel Dragon's effect. I could have activated Feather of the Phoenix last turn and stacked the Legion to my deck. Basically to guarantee, oh, well, we got the coin flip. We're good. Bye-bye, Hornet. Okay, yeah, we're good, because we know all he's got in his hand is Exodia piece. So, yeah, something I could have done last turn just to make sure is, uh, yeah, Feather of the Phoenix to add Legion to the top. I wouldn't think about that, but it all worked out. All right, Barrel Dragon, attack its life points directly. Plasma Laser Discharge System, go! Ah, uh, Barrel Dragon looks so cool in this game. All right. You win! Alright, 95 points. That's a lot better. You win. Your dish will help you increase your dish level. Oh, okay. If you say so. Let's see. Someone there. Let's see if we can... It is nighttime now, so let's see if we can find who we're looking for. Another one star. Who's here? Another one star? Okay. And... Oh, there's someone here. Uh, Grandpa. Okay. So, Bakura's not out right now. That's interesting. Um, so, we got three unknown. Let's... And I'm right here. Uh, let's head to the one closest to me, I guess, right here. This is, oh, is this who we're looking for? This is Ben, ooh, Ben Keith. Ah, okay, well, let's, uh, I'm just gonna save state here just in case. Three, okay. Oh, hi, Yugi. Oh, wait, that's me. Flood, I received a strong signal in this area. Yeah. Hey, Flood, you, my dude just started going bonkers around here, so I came to check it out. Whoa, I just saw somebody over there. That's where the signal's coming from. I sent something dangerous. <laughs> we meet again in America. Hey, Banner Keith, what's up? Enough of your games, Keith. Hand over the prize. Give me back the card you stole. Sheesh, you again? Ha, you're like a bad rash that won't go away, dweeb. I'll finish you this time for good. Stop! Don't be so hasty, Bandit Keith. Mm. Oh my god, guys. It's Maximilian Pegasus. Check this out. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. In America. Wait, sir? What? Bandit Keith hates Pegasus. Let me handle this. 
Bandit key, the boy. Hey, yo, yo, Maximilian Pegasus. Pegasus, what are you doing here? It's nice to meet you, Beginia Champion Boy. I'm shocked you've made it this far, Flood Boy. Since you're the winner of the latest tournament, I have a special surprise for you. I'll duel you personally. And yes, this is the event you're looking for, ultimately. It's not every day the creator of Duel Monsters challenges an amateur to a duel. You should be honored. If you win, though the odds are tiny, I'll give you back the grand prize that Bandit Keith stole. Ah, so he did steal it. He was just being coy last time. Ah, but, but, but it's mine in America. Are you saying I'm going to lose, Bandit Keith? No, sir! Man, it's so weird to hear Bennett Keith call him sir. He hated him so much in, Man in Duel's Kingdom. I'm sorry! In America! Let's do it! You said it, me. Let's do it. Alright, guys, it's time. Toon World Deck versus Hand Loop Deck. Maximilian Pegasus. No items. Final destination. It's time, guys. I'm gonna turn the music up, because this is gonna be some epic music. Oh yeah, shadow game time. No surprise there, Pegasus is challenging us to a shadow game. We'll set giant germ and we'll set a face down. Over to you, Pegasus. Let's see what you get. Two Gemini Elf, that's a good call, that's a good call. Hot agree. Alright. Couple face downs, couple face downs, lots of face downs. Hmm. Might be worth heavy storming here, uh, but ultimately, you know, if I were to advise you guys, yeah, don't use your heavy storm or MST or Death Tornado, whatever you got, until, and this is a very challenging duel, but until he plays Toon World, I wouldn't advise using your spell and trap destruction. Yeah, so wait till he plays, just wait him out, wait till he plays Toon World. Then go in for that stuff. All right, so you're gonna attack my knight assailant, Pegasus. Unfortunately for you, knight assailant has a special ability, and I'm actually gonna take out Toon Gemini Elf here, because uh, Goblin Attack Force, I'm not actually worried about it, because after it attacks, as we all know from my other deck, it'll just go to defense mode, so yeah. Not too worried about it. Ooh. <laughs> Now I'm definitely not worried about it. All right, we'll set, we'll, we'll set Spirit Reaper here. And I'm gonna set a face down card, Pegasus. Did your Millennium Eye see this coming? I am my turn. <laughs> my turn, I draw. I summon my cute card, Dark Rabbit. Go, Dark Rabbit, attack his Spirit Reaper. Huh, unfortunately, Pegasus, my Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed in battle. But I do have something else that can be destroyed in battle. Goblin attack force attack. Love's giant gem. Oh, that hurts. Unfortunately for you, Pegasus, I get my giant two more for my deck. And now, let's see if your Millennium Eyes all that is cracked up to me. For as you end your battle phase, I can now play this. <laughs> Go, my crush card virus. Destroy all the powerful monsters in Pegasus' field, hand, and dick. Your tune summon skull is no more. Call of the Haunted, that is a very good card. Gotta watch out for that. I'm pretty sure he just drew that this turn. Uh alright. We'll play Robin Goblin. Alright, and I know what I said about holding back your heavy storm, but he does have four face downs. Let's just go for it. Oh, Russia! Heavy storm! Ooh, ultimate offering. Tune defense. Emergency provision. Wait, why didn't you chain emergency provisions there? Dude, Pegasus, you knew I was going to destroy all your stuff. But see, you could have played this? Yeah, yeah, and sent all three to the grave to gain 3,000 points. Too smart. I'll switch Spare Reaper to attack mode and get Relinquish out of his hand. Set Phoenix Swing Wind Blast. And now, it's Ambi time, guys! 
Laji, help me out. I need you in the shadow game. All right. Laji, attack his dark rabbit. My wish is your command. <laughs> and I wish that rabbit to be out of this field. Oh no, my cute dark rabbit. Look what you've done to my monsters. All right. It looks like we got pretty good control of this one. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, I, I should talk about Pegasus's deck. As you can see, he runs kind of a two deck as well as Relinquish. So, yeah, Spell and Trap removal is definitely the way to go. Um, also, you can see he's been using some of the powerful monsters we've got, like two Gemini Elf. Uh, ooh, good thing we got rid of Relinquish. Uh, and uh, two Goblin Attack Force. So, yeah, um, if you need to. You know, if you need to, definitely, um, uh, like, and as you see, this duel is very avoidable. Like, as long as you don't duel at night, you won't run into this event at all. So, if you definitely, if you need to, like, uh, grind on the people you can face early in the morning, like Yugi, Serenity, uh, uh, Taya, you know, uh, Rex Raptor, uh, Espero, but all those guys, Miko Tsunami, definitely grind until, you know, you're pretty confident in your deck's power level and strategy, and, uh, you know, make sure you've got good cards like Pot of Greed, Grace of Charity, all that good stuff, and yeah, yeah, just make sure to grind until you think you're ready, and then, of course, save before you go out at night, and, uh, yeah, if you don't get, if you don't beat them the first time, you know, don't don't be too hard on yourself. This is a really tough duel at this point in the game. And just, uh, yeah, just save before you go out at night and try again. So, yeah. That's my advice for this duel. Alright, and it looks like we win. Um, let's see if we can get exactly zero for the bonus. Uh, oh, I think we can. I think we can. So, as insulting as this is, yeah, I summon Magician of Faith in attack mode. <laughs> Uh, why? Well, because if we attack with Magician of Faith and then Lejeune, uh, yeah, we should be good. So, Magician of Faith, Lejeune, and then Spirit Reaper will give us exactly zero. Uh, so what's gonna happen after this event, uh, now that we've cleared it? Uh, well, I don't know, guys, I don't know. What's gonna, get, what's gonna happen? Let's see here. Alright, you win. Yes, you did, Pegasus Man. Oh, let me show the points there. Ooh, and we got a new bonus, actually. Ah, thanks to the crush card. I'm surprised I haven't got this bonus yet. A uh, destroy by effect bonus. So, basically, I think you need um, to destroy... Maybe you need to destroy 10 monsters by a card effect. Because... I'm pretty sure we destroyed a lot of monsters by card effects before. But I haven't got this bonus yet. I thought it was like five you need to destroy by effect, but apparently not, because we haven't got that bonus yet. Uh, anyway. Oh no! Oh yes, Pegasus, I win. I can't believe I lost. He, he disappeared, guys. Where did he go? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, Flood, look! Hey, it's the grand prize. Ah. You got a card of... So this was the prize from the Casey Beginner Cup. The Graveyard in the Fourth Dimension. Silent Magician Level 4. And Magician Circle. All very good cards. You got a card list of uh, BC Beginner Cup Victory Pack. And you got a deck recipe of BC Champ 1. And BC Champ 2. <laughs> Seems like you won, Fred. Seto Kaiba. Kaiba, what's going on? Explain yourself. I don't know. But they're not getting off easily for breaking my Kaiba Corp tournament. I'll hunt them down to the ends of the earth in order to regra regain my pride. I have a big announcement for you all tomorrow. Uh, you do? The battle to become the next king of games. It's time for the expert cap. You. And this time, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. Tomorrow morning, both of you come to the Alcatraz train station. What? 
I recommend you improve your decks in order to stand up to my blue eyes, white dragon. Yeah, hey guy, but ain't you forgetting somebody? I'm standing right here. Can't I be in your tournament? Yeah, I didn't see you there, Wheeler. You're as small as a cockroach. Probably because I don't have time for new servants. <laughs> oh my god. Kaiba's kind of so savage. I need a drink of water. Yeah, I'll show you who's a mutt. And wait, that doesn't make sense. I'll get you, Kaiba. <laughs> Alright. Well, with that, guys, we definitely want to. Yeah. Head to the house and save. But yeah, that's basically what you needed to do next in the story. You have mail. You got mail. You got mail. You got, you got, you got, you got. Goodbye. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball Z. The expert coming in tomorrow to crown the next king of games. This bitch's will was only sent to the world's top duelists and tournament champions. Please meet tomorrow morning in front of the Alcatraz train station. The expert cup next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! NT. Alright, and that's the perfect end to the episode. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.